Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. And as I button up my shirt here so I can be professional, then we can proceed. So, thank you all. Welcome for coming. Coming. <laughs> Been a long weekend. Anyway, today is October, let's see, it'd be the third, the fourth, October 4, 2016. Uh, I have to actually stop and think of the day, the day of the week, and the date itself. This last weekend was quite busy with uh, a physical move from one location to the next. The new apartment is starting to look much better. It's actually, I can see the floor now. That's good. We have most of the stuff in the cupboards. Well, we're starting to, uh, to make it look like a home again. Yesterday, we were quite busy. Very popular live stream. I was doing uh, some soul readings for uh, various relationship conditions that were coming up for people. And um, so everyone had uh, their opportunities at that time. And today, we're going to focus a little bit more on bringing healing to relationships. So it will be a, a different focus for today. <coughs> um, but uh, I will probably go back to some of those soul readings a little bit later in the week. It's just important to have some empowerment um, that comes along with, you know, the knowledge. We can learn what some of the relationship problems might be, but to not have a solution for them doesn't help us uh, in any way, shape, or form. And so when I checked yesterday, should I do more soul readings, the answer was no. The answer was they need more empowerment to assist them to work through whatever relationship blockages are coming up for them. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. And so I want to acknowledge and welcome uh, Kristen Rojas and Elizabeth Folk. Uh, welcome Brenda, thank you for your comments yesterday. Welcome uh, Felix, uh, hopefully you're uh, <clears throat> feeling much better after the Crown Chakra blessing. And uh, Pat, great to see you Pat. So. Uh, today, I'm at Master Shaw's Dao Healing Center in Honolulu. <clears throat> you can see one of the calligraphies behind me. And it's always of great value to be watching a live stream when I am doing it from this healing center. Because uh, there's so much power, uh, so much healing that occurs at this center, literally on a daily basis. We have a joke around here that it's the... It's the uh, least well-known center in the world that creates miracles on a daily basis. It's pretty sad, really, <laughs> because we do. We create miracles literally every day, and, um, but no one really knows about us. That's okay. Eventually, heaven will know. Everybody will know. So we have some new faces. Uh, April, Emma, great to see you both. And um, I'm sure more people are joining. <coughs> Excuse me. So today, um, tomorrow, I will, will probably probably go back to offering some soul readings on uh, individuals for their relationships, but I will not be doing that today. I will be focusing on how to bring healing to relationships, and I will be offering wisdom and teachings and blessings accordingly. So as we continue to gather all the people in the live stream, then go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is much like a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Okay? And so I will connect. I'll invite in all the holy beings and we'll chant to connect us. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source, dear creator, dear my spiritual father, Master Shah, we love you, honor you, respect you. <clears throat> dear all beings of the light, all layers of the of uh, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, all lamas, sifus, gurus. Dear all <coughs> servants of humanity on the light side, the soul of Master Shah's Tao Healing Temple that we're at today, and the countless blessings here. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and we ask you to please be present at this time. We ask for your presence to come to sit in each of our heart centers to open our hearts and souls that we can be of better service 
<clears throat> that we can align our hearts and souls to our soul's journey, that we can align our hearts and souls, that we can heal and balance relationships in our life. We ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please turn on. We ask this Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony to bless all of us to join hearts and souls together to bless all souls in all universes. So for those that are not familiar with this Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, uh, please just relax, receive the blessings. Uh, for anybody who wishes to chant along, please do so. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I trun red lay. Only he wrong. Her mushu shong. Shong I ping on her shay. Shong I ping on her shay. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace and harmony, love, peace and harmony. <coughs> Excuse me, how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Setting up my computer here. Give me just a moment uh, because they need it for accessing certain pieces of information like what time it is so I know when to finish. So I've seen a lot of new faces joining in and some other people joining today. Welcome Michelle. Welcome Felix again. Welcome Chelsea. Uh, welcome uh, Chanel. I think that's spelled right. Chanel. Kathy Hart. Uh, Carol. Welcome Marina. Welcome, Danta. Good to see you. Danta's from the Hawaii area. <clears throat> Welcome, Raul. Welcome, Linda. And uh, so, yes, uh, Kristen just posted this, the Love, Peace, Harmony website. <coughs> <coughs> this song is a healing song. It actually has a history of healing people. It's not just a regular song. It's called a Divine Soul Song. It was received about 15 years ago when Master Shah, who is my spiritual teacher and father, received it. Uh, he was walking to the Redwood Forest and a couple of his students who are now um, divine channels underneath him asked, Dear Master Shah, can you please ask the divine for a song for, for bringing peace to humanity? He said, I am honored. Dear God, can I please have a song? And keep in mind, Master Shah's native language is Mandarin Chinese. So he asked and, and he received um, the words Lula Lula Li, Lula Lula La Li. And he has a student write it down. <clears throat> he then said, Dear God, thank you for the soul language. Can I please hear it in uh, translated? And he received uh, the, the words in Mandarin Chinese. Then he translated that to English and he had his students write it down. It translates to, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. So this all happened in a matter of moments. And then he said, uh, do you have a tune? Do you have, a, uh, you know, a music we can sing it to? And he heard the tune that you just heard. And so all this uh, is what happens when you connect to the divine, like the flows that I was offering yesterday. <clears throat> you will hear me speak endlessly about this, this uh, most benevolent being, Dr. and Master Shah, because everything you hear come out of my mouth was originated from the wisdom that he brought to humanity and he gives all the credit to the divine he never takes credit for any of the miracle healings any of the words of wisdom the last two weeks i taught about the ten das the ten virtues that can transform every aspect of our life i see the the video is is uh funky a little bit hopefully that will transform <clears throat> and welcome Johnny, welcome Angie, and welcome Monica with all those beautiful hearts. 
So when I talk today about how to bring healing to relationships, Paul did not invent this. Master Paul would not be a master if it wasn't for Master Shah, who has elevated me to be able to serve you in such a way. So I will be sharing with you wisdom that Dr. Master Shah has brought to transform relationship blockages. So the first question is, what is relationship and what are relationship blockages? How do we transform them? Um, I'm going to ask some of the divine healing answers to please offer to do my own and my internet connection so that it is trouble free. Thank you. So, what are relationships? Good question. Let's do a flow and find out what heaven calls a relationship. Instead of a human answer, let's get a heaven answer, shall we? Dear heaven, we love you, honor you, respect you. Can you please offer an answer to what? Are relationships and what is the nature, power, and significance of relationships? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> How? This is the heart of the divine. I am a soul that resides inside the divine. My heart is in everyone's heart. The question was posed, what is the nature, power, and significance of relationships? All humanity has come into manifestation because the divine wished it to be. All relationships have come into manifestation as a natural result of this outward expression of the divine. Relationships are a method by which souls can communicate with other souls. This creates what is known as experience. This experience creates facets of the knowingness of all that is. I, as the heart of the divine, get to experience all of the facets of creation through your relationships. Most people feel that relationships are limited from human to human, but this is not so. There is a relationship with a human to nature. There is a relationship with a pet to another pet and from pet to human. There are relationships amongst each soul to each soul and everything has a soul, not just humans. So the power and the significance of relationships is nothing less than experience at its highest, most profound godlike level. The big mistake that is made in all relationships is the lack of recognition of the love that is the initial purposeful and always present intent that is in all souls when two souls argue there is a separation from this innate truth when two souls stay in a place of self-righteousness there is separation from oneness the ego plays a big role in the cause of many experiences that I as the heart of the divine get to witness comprehend and observe with questioning for me it is not something of judgment as much as it is something of questioning because it is not something I can understand given the nature of who I am. Nevertheless, it is important for you to know that all souls everywhere are relating to each other. And if there is a one point 
from which each soul is able to operate from in communicating with another soul via by thought, word, or action. And that one point is love. Then all souls would easily resonate with the heart of the divine, my heart. It is with this wisdom that I leave you and it is with this wisdom that I ask you bring yourself to each relationship moving forward. You will come to understand more about the heart of your beloved divine. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay. So again, for everybody new that has come, um, I will not be doing soul readings today. I may do them tomorrow. Today is about empowering us to understand how to bring healing to relationships. <clears throat> it's like saying, I have knowledge, but I don't have wisdom. What is knowledge? That's reading a book. But how do you apply it? That's the wisdom. If I give you a soul reading to assist you with whatever the blockage area is, that's the knowledge. But if you do not have the wisdom to apply that knowledge, it doesn't serve you. <clears throat> so yesterday, when I was doing the many uh, soul readings, and at the end of the day, I asked, can I do soul readings tomorrow? Would it be wise? The answer is no that they need more teachings. They need to know how to transform the relationship blockages first. Then the soul readings will have greater value. Okay? So I will not be doing soul readings today. Um, that was a soul reading so you can understand the nature, power, and significance of relationships. So I'm going to start offering a teaching in a moment. I want to acknowledge and welcome Sherry, uh, Kathy, Carol, and Jennifer, Teresa, and... Um, uh, Chrissy Koto has joined us, and Meliana. So thank you all for joining. <clears throat> so now we know what is the relationship. We know what the power and significance is. How do we transform the relationship blockages? Or how do we maintain the relationships that we are enjoying? This is also equally a problem. I have a soulmate, protect, uh, soulmate attraction system program. And that's not what we're going to be talking about today. <coughs> but there is a core teaching that runs through that program. And it's just as applicable to fixing a relationship as it is to maintaining a good and healthy one. And the, the core that runs through it is the nature of how we bring ourself to life. Um, those last three days for me were very stressful and then I was moving from one place, had to go back and clean up another place. Everything was in disarray and yet I had to maintain all my responsibilities. I found myself in a place of irritation more than once, far too many times for someone that, that needs to maintain a level of purity to be a, of a high level of service. <clears throat> but I, have, I observed myself in this place of irritation, did my best to not uh, bring it to others but I did here and there and that wasn't good but it's all about observation and doing my best to not tarnish others uh, with my own stuff but when I do I am impacting that relationship if I if I uh, say something unpleasant I didn't do anything wrong she's happy she's cheerful and yet I, uh, I say something unpleasant because I have my stuff. This is the nature of relationship blockages. Almost always, and when I say almost always, I mean like 98, 99% of the time, it is our stuff. It is so very important to recognize the beginning of relationship issues. Very, very rarely is it their stuff. It's very empowering to point outside of ourselves because that means we're in control. The nature of a healthy relationship is each person is individually responsible for themselves. They are responsible for every mindset, attitude, and belief they have adopted and accepted since birth. They might have a belief that Jesus is the only way you can make it to heaven. Well, those who blew up in, in China never heard of Jesus. They, they, don't, they don't believe that. Does that make them wrong? Somebody might grow up in China and, and they might hear that Buddha is the, is the source and the way. There is no other way. 
Well, they never heard of Jesus. And so each of them can have a negative mindset, a negative attitude, a negative belief that they don't see as negative. They see it as the truth. These kinds of, of mindsets, attitudes, beliefs permeate the entirety of our life since we are children. And we bring them into our current day relationships, be it with our children, our mother and father, uh, our lovers, parents, spouses. <clears throat> we bring our um, entirety of ourself to that relationship as best we can. The dilemma starts when we stay in a place of defensiveness, when we stay in a place of self-righteousness, when we stay in a place of a lack of love. And almost always we're in that position because if we give up that position, we give up an aspect of what created us. We give up an aspect of our self. This is really, really important to understand because we all have ego. Um, literally, it's virtually impossible to, have, to not have ego unless you're just a very, very high level master. I only know of one that is, that is ego free. And uh, you would have to be around for quite a while to recognize that. So it's, ego is what we are, a combination of everything our parents have taught us, everything we've ever accepted and adopted as truth. That creates this set of pillars that which we bring ourselves to society with, we communicate with. We, this is how we present ourselves. It's our ideologies. It's everything about who we are. If we have to um, take responsibility, if we move to a place of non-defensiveness, if we say, um, uh, take the middle road, and turn the other cheek on a consistent basis. How many of us can consistently do that? It's very difficult because we're basically saying that everything I've ever learned, everything I've ever accepted is not true. <clears throat> when we look at healing a relationship, there's the current one, there's the ones that are long standing. There are the ones with our children, our parents, our spouses. Yesterday, there was a lot of, of questions um, and they were all over the board. Some were about relationship with self, some were about relationship with children, some were about out their, their child and, the, and the, uh, the spouse of that child, there are relationships on every level. How do we transform them? We transform them with what the soul of the heart of the divine told us. There is one line that runs through everything and that is with love. Love is such an overused, least understood word that we don't even know how to apply it. We just don't have the, the comprehension on how to apply love. I don't. I didn't, I should say. I finally do because I've been taught by a very high level being and they have transmitted uh, huge blessings and wisdom on exactly how you apply love. How do you use it to transform your life? Um, the first step is taking responsibility. When I'm on my Soulmate Attraction System program, I have the people go through the first three weeks of the program is all about identifying all of those people that have uh, hurt them and all the things they've accepted about themselves that might not be true, all of the positive things they said about themselves, all the negative things they've said about themselves physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all the victim mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, any times they've been the victimizer, all of this brings up patterns. The patterns reveal the pillars that we've created our ego on. When we can identify how our ego has been created, we can start to disassemble it. It's the disassembling that allows us to be in love. Do you start to see the pattern here? Love is always present. It's right here in our heart center. But we have blockages. Those blockages are self-created. They're karmic created. They're adopted. We, created, we, we adopted wrong information. We accepted wrong thinking. We built up our ego protection mechanisms so that we can have this pillar of strength that we stand on that we present ourselves to others with. But it, how's it working for you? How is that relationship going with that ex or that, or that uh, uh, husband that doesn't want to give you time to see the kids? How is that relationship going with your, with your current spouse that was great with the first three years and now it's not so good? All of these are about this blockage right here. And so the path to open this up is recognition and responsibility. That's where it all starts. So. Um, what I'm going to do is offer a blessing first to open all of our hearts.
okay? I'm gonna offer through this through a soul song, and I'm gonna turn on a very specific treasure that I have to offer everybody here a blessing to open their hearts. <clears throat> then, I'm going to offer a very specific uh, practice for each of you to use that if done consistently will open your heart more and more and release these kinds of negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. We're going to give you practical, applicable tools that you can use to transform whatever relationship blockage that you actually have going on in your life. And it could be used again and again. All you need is one tool that works every time. And I'm going to empower you with that. But I'm going to open your hearts first, okay? So prepare to receive wherever you're at. If possible, sit up straight with your back away from the back of the chair. <clears throat> Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth, feet flat on the floor. Close your eyes, bring your, your thoughts, your breath, everything into your heart center. Visualize golden rainbow light. I'm turning on my healing treasures right now. Give me a moment. I ask these treasures I've just invoked to turn on, radiate to everybody uh, watching this live stream and those that watch us in the future, offer the highest blessing that's allowed and appropriate to open their heart center, their message center. Please also offer any, any um, guidance, wisdom, insights uh, that, can, that is appropriate to be offered at this time into their heart center so that uh, when given chant, uh, trials and tribulations, they're able to call upon them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessing begin. Die, die. Die, 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 Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Blessing is continuing. I will now offer you a very special golden light ball. This golden light ball will come from the heart of the divine to your heart. 
to your heart center. Divine order, divine love, golden light ball, To all of those watching this live stream, now and in the future, to their message center, as appropriate. Transmission! Turn on 24-7. Transmission! Everyone repeat after me. Dear my divine golden light ball of divine love. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please bless me to open my heart more. Please help me to remember to use you to transform my relationships. Okay, keep your eyes closed. I'm going to walk you through a repeatable process. Everybody has just received a golden light bulb of divine love. Divine love is not Paul's love. It's not Chrissy's love. It's not Jeff's love. It's divine's love. It carries extraordinary high frequency, extraordinary high power. It is of greatest importance that you use it with the greatest respect, gratitude, and appreciation. It will help you to transform anything that you apply it towards. <clears throat> you will do the relationship healing following these steps. Call forth the soul of one person that you would like to do a healing relationship blessing with. Do the soul of call their soul forth. I love you. I appreciate you. I wish to do a forgiveness practice with you and use this love jindan to bring healing to our relationship. Thank you. And you will do a forgiveness practice. I will walk you through it a very simple one. Just repeat after me. It does not have to be exact. Dear the soul of, state their name, please forgive me if I have brought harm or suffering to you in any time that has caused us to have suffering in our relationship. I wish to forgive you unconditionally and I'm asking that you forgive me unconditionally. Thank you. Now you've received this divine love ball. So I want you to visualize it surrounding both of you in this relationship. And we're simply going to chant divine love. That's what you've received. Let us chant. Divine love. Divine love. Divine love. Divine love. Divine love. Divine love, 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 divine, divine love, divine, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. You can chant it with a song. Divine love. Divine love, divine love, divine love. See the golden light of the divine's love transforming the relationship, clearing the blockages, making the space between you two more golden, more light-filled, more love-filled. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, 
Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. <coughs> continue to chant, continue to visualize. Truly can be this simple. It's this simple because we're using Divine's power to transform human blockages. Divine love, 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 Divine love. Divine love melts all blockages. 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 Divine love heals my relationship. 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 Continue to visualize the golden light ball of Divine's love, which has been permanently transmitted to your soul. Spinning, it's creating a light field, a love field around your relationship that you have chosen. See the love, feel the love. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. Divine love, 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 divine, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine, divine love heals relationship, divine love heals my relationship, divine love heals my relationship, divine love heals my relationship. See the light brighter, 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 divine love. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. Continue to chant and I will offer a soul reading what is transpiring at this time. <coughs> How? This is the soul of the divine love, golden light ball that each of you has received. It may be difficult for you to comprehend that I am now a part of your soul. But nevertheless, this is the power of the divine. The divine created you and the divine created me. And therefore, I have been transmitted to you. My power is the divine's power. When you chant divine love, I radiate the divine's love. Each of you has already received the amount of blessings that would have taken you a minimum of 10 hours of chanting on your own to have accomplished just in these last 10 or so minutes. This is the nature of the Divine's love to melt all blockages. There were two of you that requested relationship blockages with the children. You may be surprised that if you were to chant and use my abilities to serve you for another day or two, that these blockages could be substantially diminished and you could receive communication from your children in a very unexpected way. There was one of you that has significant heart, physical heart blockages. This was as a result of anger that you had been holding on to. I had been offering blessings to you 
and this anger has been quelled substantially, which had not been addressed within a period of approximately two to three months could have led to a significant health issue related to this organ. There is also seventeen of you who have requested blessings for a relationship with your significant other and another seven who had requested blessings to find a significant other. Each of you have received blessings accordingly that is clearing Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages that have contrived to separate you from the love you desire. This is not to say a miracle has been created in that you will instantly find your soulmate or that these blockages are fully released. It is to advise you that love does melt blockages, that these are many, in many cases long-standing and therefore the application of my frequency to assist you in transforming your blockages would need to be continued with both forgiveness and attention to practice. I will serve you if you call upon me. This is the soul of the Divine's love, Golden Light Ball. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha, ha, ha. So let's finish this practice. Thank you um, for that message from the soul of that beautiful uh, blessing that everyone received. So, um, how do we transform blockages? Number one, take responsibility. Rarely, if ever, exceedingly rarely, if ever, is it someone's fault outside of us. Either the karma has led that to us, <clears throat> or we have, at the soul level, brought that to us in such a way that we could learn a lesson from it. When we take responsibility for our irritation, for our anger, for that knee-jerk reaction that that person did to me, and we take a look inside, we look at what we can uh, how we can look at this differently. How can we change the perspective? What can we do to change ourself instead of this other person? Because we can remove ourselves from, from, from that location that's bringing about that irritation. Uh, it's going to do us much more of a service to physically move ourselves away and not become more irritated. <clears throat> I failed in this test even just it was, yeah, Monday. I failed in this test. Um, one of my old roommates, um, who has been a test the entire eight years there, um, I got under my skin and I did, not, uh, I did not respond well. So I have to go through and do my forgiveness practice. I have to go through and, and bring healing to this relationship. I will be using this golden light ball that you have. I have received it also. I will be using it. Why? <clears throat> because the divine's love is a far higher frequency than my own. Why would I try to transform it at my level when I have this, uh, this beautiful divine's love golden light ball that can, that can assist me to transform things a lot, lot, lot faster? So you have all received this. The steps are simple. Take responsibility. If you're charged, remove yourself from the area uh, if, if it's in the current moment. Do forgiveness practice. Doing forgiveness practice is not always easy when we're charged <clears throat> because it's like saying, what, I'm going to forgive this jerk or this whatever da 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 for doing this to me? No, it's not saying it's okay to be a doormat. What it's saying is that I recognize that a series of conditions that, that I might have brought about have brought this person into my life. I'm going to take responsibility for my portion of that. I'm going to work with forgiveness. I'm going to offer forgiveness for this and any time I might have brought suffering to this soul that has brought this back to me in this form that I'm not enjoying. I'm going to both offer forgiveness and I'm going to ask for forgiveness if I have caused this kind of harm to them at any previous time. Then I'm going to ask the uh, uh, divine love to assist me with transforming this blockage. And so this is the simple, repeatable steps. It does not matter if this is with your children, if this is with the boss that, that seems to hate you and has an out for you. It does not matter if this is with your pet that keeps peeing on the carpet. The same thing applies in virtually every circumstance because love melts all blockages and forgiveness and brings inner peace and inner joy. And I did not invent those one-sentence secrets. 
Dr. and Master Shah, my spiritual teacher and father, is the one that brought this wisdom to humanity, and he heard it directly from the divine. Love melts all blockages, forgiveness brings inner peace and inner joy. So why wouldn't we use these two sides of the same coin to literally transform the blockages? When we use the, the uh, empowerments that have been brought to humanity, like the source of soul song of love, peace, and harmony, which I chanted earlier, okay? If you haven't downloaded that, look through the comments. Kristen has put the link in there for lovepeaceharmony.org. This soul song will literally transform whatever is happening in your life. People sleep better, health gets better, relationships start changing. Put it on 24-7 at your job. Watch it change. Put on volume of one. You don't have to hear it if it's going to bother people. It's beautiful. Most people will love it. You'll hear them humming at the water tower. But the point is, when you surround yourself with higher frequencies, higher frequencies of love, higher frequencies of forgiveness, then you'll be able to transform your relationships much, much, much faster. So there's no secret to healing relationships. It's take responsibility, offer love, offer forgiveness, use higher power to transform it. So uh, the higher power that, that I've been so blessed to work with is using the divine frequencies, is using any of, of the power transmitted to Master Shah's books or to like the source soul song of love, peace and harmony. These are freely given to humanity. You can pick up any one of his books and you can literally receive a transmission from the book. Just apply it. There's over 1,000 videos right now on the internet of Dr. Master Shah's students who have received remarkable, remarkable life-changing blessings just doing what I'm saying to you right now. So these are uh, free and available. You want to take advantage of these. Yesterday when I was doing the soul readings, <coughs> We, we, we find ourselves in a position where we care for others. One of the mothers asked for her, her, um, her daughter and the, and the husband. Somebody else asked for a, a different person uh, close to them. Sometimes we want to serve others, but we feel helpless. Dear the golden light ball of divine love that I received, I love you. Can you please go to my sister and her husband? And if it is appropriate, Offer them a blessing to help their relationship. Close your eyes, visualize the light ball surrounding them with love, chant for 10 or 15 minutes divine love or love, peace and harmony, and you might get a call from your sister saying things are better. You can actually use this to serve others. That's one of the great values of receiving a transmission like what you've just received. So the more you start to understand about uh, the wisdom that Dr. Master Shah has brought to humanity and how we can apply it to bring a transformation to our health, to our relationships, to our emotions, the more you'll start to understand how easy it is to pull ourselves out of the doldrums that we can sometimes find ourselves in. Depression, anxiety, all of these emotions are directly related to blockages in the heart center. I tell you, if you have stuff going on with emotions, its blockages are here. Why? Because you're not being honest with yourself, you're not being responsible, and you're not uh, bringing divine power to transform the blockages. <clears throat> the ego is no longer supporting you in the way it has in the past. You probably want to say something to somebody and you have not, therefore you keep it in. Okay? There's so many different ways in which we block our heart center, and it creates depression, it creates anxiety. All of these are self-created in most cases. <clears throat> and if not, then it came from our earlier karma for making unhealthy choices. What's the solution for karma we don't even know we have? Love, forgiveness, simple. We just do more and more of it. Uh, if you want to expediate the process, if you have major, major stuff going on, real depression, real anxiety, suicidal tendencies, if you got serious, serious stuff going on, connect with Master Shah, connect with any of his worldwide representatives, connect with me. I'm a worldwide representative. We all have the authority to offer divine services. It's something we put our head on the ground daily. We put our head on the ground with the greatest reverence that we have this ability to serve you. It's, it's, it does cost a little bit of money, but you know what? If the drugs haven't worked and other things haven't worked, you might want to look at what the source of the blockage is, which is here. That's the heart center, and it's related at the soul level. This form of divine services and healings uh, transform things and remove those blockages at the level of soul. 
So that's the power that is available to help resolve some relationship blockages if they're serious, okay? And so all of you now have now been empowered in, in a very uh, important way. <clears throat> there is a lot of additional teachings and wisdom and blessings in my previous videos. If this is intriguing to you and you're new and you'd like to learn a little bit more, you can go to my website. It's listed right above this video. Uh, asoulhealer.com you can receive individual soul readings for whatever is happening in your life why that relationship block is there why you can't find your soulmate you know these these can be done there's an honor fee for those but you can find that at the website you can also um, learn more about Dr. Master Shah by going to his website which is Dr. Shah D-R-S-H-A um, I do recommend that because it's such a plethora of, of services, free services, and things that will help you uh, through the portal of his website. Some of us, you know, we're, we have financial restrictions. I've had them for many, many years. And um, um, sometimes we just can't afford the divine services. That's okay. Lots of free stuff. I give you a, a free blessing today. <coughs> so find these things out there. Pick up one of Dr. Master Shah's books. You can find them for very affordably, a uh, dollar, two, three, all over the place. And inside each of these books is healing and blessings. Use the things that are available to you to serve you in your soul journey. If you want to expedite it, move it through a lot faster, then come to see a divine channel like myself. We have been given powers and authorities to move things a lot faster. But know that these things are there for you, okay? So tomorrow, let me check. Yeah, so tomorrow I can go back to offering now uh, some soul readings for relationship. There will be guidelines, so if you come, don't just start throwing out questions. There will be guidelines as to how I can do the soul readings, and I will do the best I can to serve you. Um, please don't be disappointed if I can't get to you. Sometimes it happens very fast. The, the scrolling goes faster than I can see. So I love you, love you, love you. Let's thank Divine Tao Source. We thank Master Shah. We thank the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures, lamas, sifus, gurus, all masters, ascendant masters, beings of light, heavens, generals, and soldiers. We thank the soul of this temple, all the holy beings here at Master Shah's Tao Hunting Center. We thank your heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We thank your soul. We thank the soul of the divine, uh, uh, divine love golden light ball that you have all received remember to use it use it well you can use it for yourself and to serve others love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you we'll see you tomorrow same time bye bye